Hello, I'm Corporal Joey Williams. In Arkansas, nobody wants to think about experiencing a natural disaster like a tornado, flood, ice storm, or house fire. What would you do if you found yourself in an emergency situation? Unfortunately, disasters can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. It's important to plan ahead, especially if you have a disability or you are a caregiver for someone who does. We've put together a checklist that can help you prepare for the worst. First things first, assemble a disaster supply kit that includes items like non-perishable foods, flashlights, batteries, first aid and hygiene items, clothing, blankets, medications, and anything else you can't live without. Make sure your smoke alarms are up to date and working. For those with sensory disabilities, consider a smoke alarm that has strobe lights or vibrating pads. Keep your vital records and documents, including birth certificates, social security numbers, and other identification paperwork in a safe deposit box or other safe location. Always have your medical insurance, Medicaid information, and pass ID card with you. Practice responses that you or a member of your personal support network will give to questions by emergency personnel. These responses could include health information or how to work your medical equipment if you are evacuated from your home. Make sure you have a list of all your medications, your doctor's information, or any other important information like life-threatening allergies that medical personnel would need to know about. Have a backup plan if your caregiver is unable to get to you and others will have to assist you. Know how to get in touch with your doctor and or pass care coordinator so they can arrange for necessary medical care and delivery of equipment or supplies. Consider getting a medical alert system that will allow you to call for help if you are immobilized in an emergency. Most alert systems require a working phone line, so have a backup plan such as a cell phone in case the landlines are disrupted. Sign up for Smart 911. During a disaster, at-risk individuals with access and functional needs require additional help before, during, and after an incident. With Smart 911, at-risk individuals can sign up and share their medical, access, and functional needs requirements with their community's emergency managers. This online portal of at-risk residents helps emergency managers better plan and identify residents in need of assistance during a disaster. Go to smart911.com and get started. Learn what to do in case of a power outage. Know how to connect and start a backup power supply for essential medical equipment. And make sure you have extra batteries for special medical equipment, such as an oxygen machine or a wheelchair. Get to know your area and find out where the closest accessible disaster shelter is located. Make a plan for how you will get there in case of emergency. You'll also want to know who your county emergency management coordinator is so you can get in touch with them if disaster strikes. These are just a few things you can do to better prepare yourself in case of emergency. Are you prepared? What would you do if the power goes out? What if you don't have access to your medications or medical equipment? Who are you going to call when disaster strikes? Hopefully you never have to experience an emergency situation, but it's vital that you prepare for it. If you have a disability or special circumstances that might affect your safety in an emergency, we have put together additional tips specific to your needs. For a detailed checklist on how to prepare in case of an emergency, visit our website at gcdd.arkansas.gov.